When Superstorm Sandy made landfall near Brigantine, New Jersey nearly six years ago, it shocked a region not used to the devastating power of hurricanes. That storm killed dozens of people and brought New York City to a standstill, flooding coastal areas, destroying homes, and leaving hundreds of thousands without power for days. The impact of Sandy on our region can still be felt today. For example, the upcoming 15-month shutdown of the L train to repair tunnels damaged by the flooding. Superstorms like Sandy may be rare, but scientists warn that that may not be the case for long. In fact, even bigger and more frequent storms could become the new normal. In just a one-month period last year, for example, three monster hurricanes, Harvey, Irma, and Maria, tore through the Caribbean and the United States, killing hundreds and causing more than $100 billion in damage. Rise of the Superstorms, a new documentary from our friends at NOVA, takes a look at the science behind these massive storms and at the cutting-edge research being done to better predict and prepare for the next big one. Here's a preview. Harvey. Winds in excess of 190 miles per hour. Irma. Do not sit and wait for the storm to come. Maria. Three monster hurricanes in a single month. The eye was right here, was on top of us. Is it a fluke or the new normal? It's going to happen more often with warmer oceans and climate change. Hold on. Here, we're going to put the life vest on you. <laughs> Are we prepared for the rise of the superstorms on Nova? And joining us now to talk about the documentary as part of our Peril and Promise initiative on the human impact of climate change is the writer, producer, and director of NOVA Rise of the Superstorms, Liesl Clark. Liesl, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, Liesl, in the documentary, you make the compelling case that last year's hurricanes uh, were a, an unprecedented event, if you add them all together. Just how unprecedented were these hurricanes? Well. It had been 13 years since a major hurricane, a Category 4 hurricane, had actually made landfall in U.S. territories. So for, for three to hit back-to-back -back in one year was quite devastating. Um, hurricanes are known to actually uh, hit in succession. Uh, people say that they can, they can come in clusters, almost like uh, bananas uh, <laughs> come in clusters. So they're known to, to do that if the conditions are right. And last year, last fall, conditions were certainly right. You know, something we see over and over again and that you focused on is that, you know, the path and the severity of these storms uh, is seldom known fully until the very last moment. In fact, Harvey uh, went from a, from a Category 1 to a Category 4 hurricane very quickly, apparently to almost everyone's surprise. How come that's the case when we made such strides uh, with technology in the field? It's a really good question, and I think this is what, in essence, sort of caught the general public and certainly officials by surprise um, last year. All three hurricanes rapidly intensified. So rapid intensification is what you're talking about. Um, they, they uh, in, a, in the span of about 24 hours, for example, Maria, I think, was the one to uh, intensify the most rapidly, going from essentially a tropical storm to a major hurricane in, in 24 hours. Now, when that happens, like in the case of Harvey, when a storm is really close to landfall, uh, that doesn't give officials enough time to, uh, you know, to, to tell people to either evacuate or shelter in place. In either situation, people have to be prepared. So what's causing these storms? Uh, some people believe that uh, global warming or climate change is the sole cause of these increasing storms. Um, what's your take? You know, from reading all the papers and doing doing the research that's necessary to, to do a film like this, um, it looks like climate is pointing towards uh, the fact that we can expect not necessarily more frequent hurricanes, but when the conditions are right, hurricanes will uh, will brew up and uh, form into major hurricanes, which are the most one of the most destructive forces on Earth. I think people are now we've sort of ushered in a new era of hurricane awareness. Uh, and, and certainly for people who live in Caribbean nations and Puerto Ricans in particular, um, but also for anyone who lives along the coastlines, we know that there is and there has been sea level rise. So when you add sea level rise into um, hurricanes, 
making landfall potentially as stronger hurricanes, then yes, people need to be more prepared for uh, uh, storm surge. Preparation, I think, it has everything to do with building codes, and uh, and you know, if you're going to build new, then people need to start thinking along the coast about building uh, more appropriately for uh, being able to sustain wind damage and storm surge. So really quickly, is this the new normal? I think this has a very strong chance of being the new normal. We may, you know, what's interesting is that the sea surface temperatures were looking like they were going to be very high um, this season, but at the last minute, they've started to sort of trend lower. Um, so, you know, we're not sure what's going to happen this year. Uh, officials were saying that they were expecting to have a little above average hurricane activity this year, but um, at this stage, it looks like it will be uh, normal. So it may be quite similar to last year, or or we may have, uh, you know, not major hurricanes, but certainly some hurricanes. All right, Liesl, thank you so much. And thank you for the documentary. It's very instructive. Thank you. Nova Rise of the Superstorms premieres on PBS on June 27th at 9 p.m. Please check your local listings for additional airtimes.